Good evening and welcome to an all new episode of What the Friday. I'm so excited and it's not just because it's almost Halloween, but because we have a new intro for this show. You'll get to hear that in just a minute. But tonight's WTF is going to be story time this week. And who doesn't love a good scary ghost story at Halloween? So sit back. I've got a couple for you. And here we go. Welcome to What the Friday, an After Dark series presented by Mystery, Murder, and Magic. Listener discretion is advised. Alright y'all, so we're going to set the scene. That was the new intro that I was talking about. Do you like it? I love it, y'all. But, um, like I was saying, ghost stories are a Halloween tradition that's been handed down for generations. So let's set the scene. We're all counting out. We're in the middle of nowhere. And we have a bonfire crackling in front of us. In the distance, you might even hear an owl hoot. Then our stories begin. Many years ago, back in the 1930s, there was a young man who was dating a beautiful young woman. The woman lived right out in the country, and her parents didn't approve of the young man dating their daughter at all. Well, because of that, the young man would have to sneak out in the cover of night to visit his true love. The young woman, we're going to call her Josephine, would wait each night for her mom and dad to go to sleep. Then quietly, she'd sneak out of the house, go out into a field, and then flash a flashlight four times to signal that the coast was clear. Then the young man, we're going to call him Carl, he would ride his motorcycle down the road and meet her. Now, I don't know how her parents didn't hear a motorcycle down the road, but I guess they just didn't. Maybe it wasn't all right. I don't know. But anyway, Carl and Josephine met this way every night for several years. No matter the weather, sickness, whatever, the young couple would meet out there in that field. Well, one night, Carl took a curve near Josephine's house a little too hard. His motorcycle went one way while he went the opposite. Sadly, poor Carl was hurt so badly in the accident that he didn't make it, and he died right there on the scene. But no one says that on some nights when you can see the spirit of Carl on the road looking for his own true love. And not only that, if you pull into that field and flash your headlights four times, soon you'll see a fan on your motorcycle with its headlight gleaming making its way down that dark, lonely road. And some have even said that the motorcycle has nearly crashed on them. But when they switch their headlights on, the motorcycle and its rider were nowhere to be seen. So what happened to Josephine? Well, Carl was a luxury love. She never wanted to fall in love again, and she even felt that it wouldn't be fair to be with the law with somebody else. She said she felt like she would be cheating on him. She lived out the rest of her life in her family's home and passed away at the ripe old age of 88. Well, as I've mentioned before, the one country here in South Carolina has more than its share of spooky stories. And the one I'm about to tell you is one of my most favorite ones. Many years ago, there was a preacher who lived just east of Walterboro on Parker's Ferry Road. One night, his young daughter went missing. Preacher took his lantern and he searched all night for her. Now, some say that he was hit by a car and others say that he was hit by a train. To this day, the ghost of the preacher can still be seen wandering the area looking for his daughter. Those that have been looking for the preacher's spirit say that if you park your car and flash your headlight five times, soon you'll hear the whistle of a train, and then the preacher's lantern appears out of the darkness and slowly begins to approach you. Like to say that if the light touches your car, your car won't be able to start again for a few minutes. Now, some who started their car and um, tried to drop to the light but the light will either disappear or it'll stay the same distance 
Probably. I should try to charge it. Perhaps he still wondered if he had that such a poor star. She would be able to fail. Other folks say they have, um, had an unpleasant personal experience while looking for their life. They had handprints appear on the outside of their windows on their floors. We had that happen one time when we had been to, um, it's the Atkins. Probably, shoot, probably not a chair, um, not too far from the house, so while I'm pulling away, there was like a handprint, like it was like a hand dragged down the side of the window, so creepy, because I knew for a fact that it wasn't there before I went to that bridge. Now, another spooky legend from the country is that of the cottage of cemetery. It's one of the most haunted cemeteries in South Carolina. One of the oldest graves there is that of Daisy Eleanor Ackerman. When she was just an infant, a goat cut her, and she passed away from an infant injury. The legend has it that if you travel around the cemetery three times, they park in the middle and flash your lights three times. The spirit of those buried in that cemetery will make their presence known. Some people who have visited the cemetery and the spirits there say that they've had a strong and loud effects. Others have reported that their cars won't start for some time while they're there. There's also reports of ghostly shadows as well as full body apparitions. Sounds like the Queen Jackie made a trip to the country with my spirit box. Now, I know this was another short episode, but I'm still happy to keep an eye on my own. Plus, there's so much to do to get ready for this weekend's Halloween festivities. Now, if you're like one of the you know that we'll be trick or treating on Saturday. So, make sure you stop by on Saturday. We'll be ready to start hanging out candy around for, um, you know, I have that time to go to costume and everything. But if you're wanting to get out earlier with your little ones, um, you know, we'll be out early, um, because it's supposed to be. Pretty chilly on Saturday afternoon or Saturday evening is what I've heard. And y'all have a good night and come back in the morning for the next week in your files. Yeah. Mm-hmm.